I have Chrissy Williams with us. She's a registered dietitian. Uh, Chrissy, tell me a little bit about your background. Uh, yeah. I've been a dietitian for about nine years now. I have experience in hospitals, long-term care. I worked in a sports health and fitness center um, near Cincinnati. I've worked with athletes. I've worked with kids. I've been in the schools in the past year in, um, in Murfreesboro. And just general, you know, getting out there in the community and trying to help as many people as I can. I've seen you out in our community <laughs> in many different ways. Yes. <laughs> um, so today you're going to talk with us about how healthy eating and nutrition can play an important role in improving someone's health goals. So uh, give us uh, a little information on, on how to eat healthy. Um, well, I think that's important that everybody understands that when you have health goals, nutrition is just as important as the physical um, element to it. It all combines and it works together. If you don't have the nutrition, you can't reach your fitness goals. You don't have the energy to, to reach them, the recovery, and all, and all of that. So nutrition plays a really big part in that. Um, as far as just general nutrition advice, uh, I think the best thing I could tell people is to, to focus on fruits and vegetables. I think that's very simple, and I think it's missed in a lot of things. Um, I, I don't think we have a problem eating our carbs and our protein. Um, but we have a big problem with fruits and vegetables. We don't want to eat them, but they are vital to good nutrition, to, to reaching those health goals, whatever they may be. If there's so many diagnoses that nutrition plays a vital role in, and I think people need to understand that. And fruits and vegetables in all of those realms are just as important as the macronutrients, the protein, the carbs, and the fat. On a cellular level, the impact that fruits and vegetables have, they're phytonutrients. You need them in your body to repair cells, to have healthy cells. And, you know, once we start eating healthier, you get the idea, you start to feel better. You know, that's, that's a big part of it. You feel better. You want to exercise. You want to get in that pool and run a 5K. And um, I, I think people just, they, they miss that part of it. You know, they, they get either so focused on the physical part or the medicinal part of it, they forget the nutritional impact. Now, phytonutrients are plant nutrients. They come from plants. They only come from plants. Um, so vitamins, minerals, um, your antioxidants, that type of thing. Fruits and vegetables have them in there. If you look at the color of fruits and vegetables, there are tons of different colors out there. And each of those colors represents different nutrients that we all need. That's why we say, you know, if you eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables, you need that because each different color is giving you something that you need. And there's so much science behind fruits and vegetables and healing the body. And I think that's what we need right now is healing. Our bodies are hurting. You know, a lot of people think it's, it costs too much to go buy your fruits and vegetables or either the whole thing between organic and not organic, you know, just, Put that aside and eat more. Even if it's adding one more to your plate, do that. Focus on that. I strongly recommend to people, and um, they may have seen it here at H3O, is Juice Plus. And the reason I recommend that is because it is just fruits and vegetables. You're going to get those micronutrients, the phytonutrients you know, inside you, and it's going to do its job inside you, and eventually you're going to want more. So that is important. It's coming science with the gut and how it's connected to everything too. Gut brain health, you know, gut and uh, behavior and everything. So we need, we need our guts healthy and that's where probiotics come in to play. Um, speaking with brain health, um, omega-3s, it is needed. Now some people uh, take multivitamins that they buy over the counter. Do, do those vitamins um, have phytonutrients in them? They have what we call synthetic vitamins. They are made in a lab, not grown. So with a multivitamin, they are taking a handful of nutrients, creating them in a lab, and putting them in a pill. The problem with that is then, like if you look at an apple, an apple has thousands of phytonutrients. How can scientists pick out just a handful and put them in a pill and think it's gonna do in the body what an apple would do, an orange would do, um, sweet potato would do, you know what I mean? Like, 
it, it doesn't work in, in, I think medical, the medical world is starting to figure that out. And sometimes they're seeing that a multivitamin or an isolated vitamin like a calcium supplement or something like that is actually acting uh, like a free radical is what we call them, but it's, um, it's harmful to our cells. It's actually attacking our body. So I do not have never been a dietitian to recommend multivitamins. I don't believe I want you to get your nutrition with food. Um, and that's part of the reason why I do recommend juice plus because it is food um, and not necessarily the, the multivitamins on the shelf. And let's, you know, let's talk about the salmonella, you know, the, that they're finding in multivitamins now, you know, it just, it's not controlled it's not regulated and now i've talked with lots of dietitians in my life um, and none of them have ever recommended a over-the-counter multivitamin like they all recommend getting it from you know food like yep. you said um, so how is uh, juice plus different than a multivitamin that you buy over the shelf that's created in the lab it's food it is designed to keep the nutrients um, intact and you know so that they can be put in our body and be effective so that is the, the main difference it's grown in a field and it, a peer-reviewed science that has been done on them tells us that it's getting our body it's working it's you know lowering inflammation it's protecting our hearts it's you know so many benefits Whereas the science with a multivitamin or something like that, it's just not there. And it's actually can be harmful, some of the science that they're showing. You start to focus on simple little changes, adding an extra fruit or vegetable to your plate every day, adding more water, you know, um, exercise can be something that you're working on too. You, st you start to form healthy habits and that snowballs into a healthy lifestyle and you feel better you your body functions better whatever it may be that's that's the goal we just want you to have that healthy lifestyle where you're not plagued by pain or medicine and conditions and you know just not enjoying life you want to be healthy and enjoy life now i've always thought of good health as a bicycle in one wheel on that bike, you have therapy and exercise and moving. And then on the other tire, you have uh, nutrition. Uh, what do you say about that? I would agree with that completely. And like I said in the beginning, you, you cannot, you can't have one without the other. They go together. If you really want to reach your goal, your health goal, you need both of them. You need movement. You need exercise. If it's physical therapy that you need to get on that path and do it, you know, and you, you've got to add nutrition to that too. If it's one thing, you know, nutrition, I think can be overwhelming for some people. You do not have to go on this crazy diet. One thing, work on it, you know, get it down to where it's a habit and then move on to something else. And that, I think that implies to, you know, exercise too. Just start somewhere. You know, if it's walking 15 minutes, do it just start those little changes and then you'll gradually increase it and you'll gradually just start to see results and get to that you know healthy lifestyle and you'll reach your your health goal and you'll, you'll be able to make another health goal and you'll go for that one all right well thank you chrissy <laughs> and we look forward to uh, hearing from you again over some of uh, some different uh, nutrition topics you're very welcome